Marna Street. Douglas Elliott. I love being here. I love getting to play with Doug. Well, I had a crazy Jewish mother who started me on the violin when I was three. Um, I started so young that I don't even remember learning to play, but I know that even now, if I'm trying to tell left from right, I go like this if I'm turning left, and I go like this if I'm turning right. That's literally how I learned left and right. So I've been doing this for a long time. I turned 70 years old in February, and so I've been playing for 67 years. And I played for 37 of that as principal violist in the Cincinnati Symphony. So I've had a very privileged life doing exactly what I love to do to make my living. Now I want to give back, and that's why when Kathy Roma asked me to come meet Doug and play, I said absolutely because I want to give back. The piece that we play today was by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who was a composer in the late 1700s and uh, probably one of the most famous European composers. And we played a beautiful duet of his today uh, that was one of his later pieces. And I really enjoyed playing it with, with, with Doug. I started playing the violin when I was five. Uh, my sister brought one home from school. She's a little older than I am, and I picked it up and I pestered my mom and dad for weeks until they finally agreed to rent one for me, and because I'll be sick of it in a month and they won't have to. And here it is, 45 years later, and still playing. London Correctional and Ubuntu is a Zulu word and its meaning has to do with I am who I am because I, I exist in a community. It's um, I am because we are. So it's the idea that we are all connected and that we learn from one another and that is the situation that I hope to create in um, Ubuntu and I hope that the men are creating in Ubuntu. I am because we are. It's all about community. Music is something that unlocks all parts of ourselves. So yes. when we learn more different kinds of music, it connects us to different cultures, different peoples. And that's what we need right now in our world. Mm -hmm. We need to be unafraid and unjudgmental of learning from people, being with people that are different from us. And that's what this choir is. You, we're, not, we're not all Christian in this choir, but we sing religious and sacred music. But we have, we have Muslim people, and we have people who pro might not have a, a strong religious belief. And we yes, have deeply Christian people in this group. But it's not, a, it's not a church choir, because we have a church choir here uh, at uh, LOCI, at, yes. at London. So that's what I love, that we can do world music. You've been here when we've learned 
pieces from South Africa, taught by people who go to South Africa all the time. Yes, ma'am. And um, so that's, I hope we could appeal to more people and grow the choir here. Um, yes, ma'am. I'm definitely dedicated to doing that. End to Work is a program offered in the food service industry, or in the food service here, and it teaches us the basics of working in the kitchen as well as, you know, temp temperatures and ways to prepare food. It also give, gave us the skills related to business management or to restaurant management. Um, my experience with it was it taught me to work with a team. It taught me to get to trust myself and to know, you know, what we needed to do to succeed. So currently I am the food service director for Airmark here in London, so I um, help facilitate the uh, in work class here. Um, it really needs to be an individual who wants to pursue food service when they get out, or even like, even when they're here, I guess. Um, you gotta be doing it for the right reasons. Um, the it teaches you all the fundamentals of like the food service industry. It teaches you the um, the food service, which is a watered down version of the serve safe classes. You know that would be food temperatures and storage and sanitation. Um, and then we kind of go on to the um, the retail side of it, where it's um, about the money and the cost of goods and. And it's more than just the cost of goods. You need to be making a profit, but you also have to pay for electric and paper goods to put your packages in, um, just so everybody has a good understanding. I know for myself, I really enjoy when they start to get into the classes and they start learning the material and they start challenging us um, with everything they've learned. Um, and they kind of take on a little bit of the leadership role of the inmates, trying to guide the ones that don't know. Um, so it helps us all. When I started this class, I didn't know it was going to be the last class that I taught, but they, this is the biggest class, graduating class that I've had. When we first started, we had 15? 16. 16. So we had 16. And due to different reasons, they transferred out or conduct reports, they were removed. But these five dedicated themselves, and I made them make a promise to me in the beginning that I know there's other programs that can come up and anything else, but just invest your time because it's worth it. Because as she said, they get a, a surf safe certificate and it's good. Um, if they go work at any restaurant, it, it puts them up here because it shows that they have the dedication and the perseverance to not give up.